Hey guys, welcome to Tetrix Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to download Udemy courses in PC. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Udemy is a popular online learning platform where you can find a wide range of courses on various subjects. From programming and digital marketing to cooking and fitness, Udemy offers a vast library of courses taught by experts in their respective fields. So these courses provide an opportunity for anyone, regardless of their location or background, to acquire new skills, gain knowledge, and advance their personal or professional development. So why are we doing this tutorial? So downloading a Udemy course can be incredibly beneficial for a variety of reasons. Firstly, it allows for offline learning, which means you can access course content without needing an internet connection. This is particularly advantageous for individuals who want to continue their education while traveling or in areas with unreliable internet access. Additionally, downloading course materials provides a level of convenience and flexibility. You can learn at your own pace and on your own schedule, making it easier to balance your studies with other commitments. Furthermore, having a local copy of the course material serves as a valuable backup resource, reducing the risk of losing access to educational content in case of changes to the courses or platform policies. So in summary, downloading a Udemy course enhances the accessibility, flexibility, and reliability of your learning experience. So the first thing that you'll need to do in here is to head onto Udemy's website. So this is what Udemy website looks like. You'll just need to type in onto the search bar udemy.com and once you're in, you need to ensure that you're logged in into your Udemy account and make sure you already have purchased or subscribed to the course you want to download. So you have here the log in and sign up button. If you don't have an account yet, simply click on the sign up button and here you can sign up and start learning by putting in your full name, email, password and you can also tick this checkbox in here if you want them to send you special offers, personalized recommendation, and learning tips. You'll just need to simply click onto that and by signing up, you should agree to the terms of use and privacy policy and then click on to sign up. Then you actually have an option also here onto the sign up page to log in into your account. If you have clicked onto login, you have the option to continue with Google, Facebook, Apple, and put in your email and password. And if you have forgotten your password, just click, simply click onto this bottom part in here. Now, this is what the Udemy course website would look like right after signing up. So you have here, you can search for anything in here. The different categories such as development, business, finance, IT, office productivity, personal development, design, marketing, health, and fitness, and music. So you could also simply click onto Udemy business or teach in Udemy if you want to have the opportunity to teach or upload online courses. And you can click on to learning to see all of your courses. And here is your wish list, your card, and your notification account settings. You have also the different options in here to view your account settings, payment methods, subscription, Udemy credits, purchase history. You could also change the language, public the profile, edit your profile, help, and then log out. So here onto the middle part, if you just scroll down onto the website, you'll see what to learn next. So these are the different courses that the students are viewing. So you can see the different details that they have, as well as the ratings. Also, if there are bestsellers and their prices. So if you want to have the course, simply click on to add to cart or you could add it onto your wish list. Now let's find a course in here that we'd be able to download. So as you can see, we have successfully opened already the course, which is useful Excel for beginners. So you can see the course content in here. So it has different sections. So there are 13 sections in total. You have the search bar in here. There is an overview of the course, some notes, announcement, reviews, and other learning tools. So to get started, since we have the video already in here, the first thing that you'll need to do to download the video is to open the developer tools so we'll need to simply press onto your keyboard in there the control shift i so this should open the developer tools in your web browser for mac or apple devices i think there is a different button that you need to click for that so you could try out cmd plus option plus i so since we have successfully opened already the panel in here on the right 
of your browser window so sometimes this is actually also onto the bottom in the developers tool you'll need to click on to the network tab so we have our network simply click onto that and we'll need to look for options xhr or other in the developer tools panel now you'll just need to simply click onto this media in here now right after clicking onto media you'll need to head over onto the right side onto the udemy course page and you'll need to start playing the video that you want to download so you may want to play a few seconds of the video to ensure that the media file request appears here on the network tab so since this is just the introduction you could click onto this next so that you'd be able to just simply click onto the videos that you want to download so we could start onto the basics of excel so let's wait for it to load then we'll also have this one played in here so that we could see it here then now you just need to select onto this all so that you'd be able to see the different items in here we'll just need to play this one out now right after once you've seen this different items in here these are actually the videos so we'll just need to simply right click this one out then you could click on open in new tab so as you can see it was automatically downloaded onto my device but usually there would be an option for you to see this video onto another tab and then there is a three dot onto the bottom left part of it you'll we'll just need to simply click onto it and there is a download option so this one is done automatically so we'll just try to check if we have the video already in here so we'll open it right now now as you can see i have the video already loading in here so as the video plays into your udemy course you will see various network requests in the developer tools panel so you'll just need to look for the request or the video file that you want to upload and it will typically have a file name ending in mp4 or a similar video format extension so it's better that you know the different video formats so that you would recognize immediately which one of these are the downloadable videos so if the course consists of multiple videos just like this one so let's just close this one out you can see that we have here a lot of videos for this course we'll just need to repeat the same process for other videos so we'll just need to return to the original page and repeat the process until you finish all of the videos that you want to download so after downloading the videos make sure to organize them in your computer for easy access you can also create a folder for each course and store the videos in there and please to remember that this method is only intended for downloading courses you have legally purchased or subscribed to udemy so it is important to respect the rights of course creators and the platform additionally the availability of this method may vary depending on changes made by udemy or your browser's update and there you have it you have learned already how to download udemy course easily and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question just write it down on the comments below thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on our next video